hello. We are still in Arctic frigid, frigid temperatures, but I still have the attitude of wanting it to be spring already. So even though I had to layer up, I've got a lighter color sweater and <clears throat> just to get out of the house a little bit, the roads are clear. Um, there's some snow like on the grass and walkways and stuff, but the roads are clear. Um, I'm going to go and see what is out for spring. Hobby Lobby was still putting their stuff out. Um, just something to be cabin fever a little bit. I don't know if I'm actually going to pick anything up um, or just window shop for now, but I'm getting out of the house for a little bit and look at cheerful spring things. So let's go see what's out. Great. Hello again. We went through a period where we had a little bit of um, warm weather and a spell of warm weather. So it just added and fueled to my spring fever going on a little bit. But um, I was able to get out. It was a little windy, but I did get out. I didn't get a lot of work done. A little bit of cleaning up done in the um, yard and that. I don't know. I raked at the end of the fall, like really good. So I don't know where all these extra leaves came from, but I had to rake up some leaves and I cleaned up a lot of the um, peanut shells from the squirrels all winter so far and got that done. And yeah, so that's what I've been working on and I didn't really film doing that too much because it's not the most exciting thing in the world to just um, measure and see where you're gonna put beds and clean leaves and things like that. So, yeah, I was able to get out and take advantage of that. There was one day where it actually was like 70, 70 in February. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely crazy. But I loved it and I was very happy for it. But now temperatures kind of took a little spike cold again. Um, it went like in the 20s again and then 30. Today it's like 50. So I might try and get out there a little bit more again today. I did find uh, the pot that I want to use in the front yard to replace the bushes. So I need to get out there today and measure and see about that because I don't know if I need to buy the pedestal part to make them higher because the porch is kind of up or if they're tall enough once like plants are in them, depending on what I put in them. And I have to find something that would work in shade because of the big tree on the curb. But um, so I think I might go out and measure those because I want to get out and get them there at Sam's Club and they'll sell out if you don't get them right away. So I think I'm going to take advantage of this 50 degrees today and do that. And then um, on the side of the garage where I was going to put the vegetable garden, I was going to buy one of these galvanized like raised garden beds, but the slimmest I could find was two feet wide and I measured and it'll fit, but it kind of takes away from the walkway that's already built there. So I think I'm going to just build a raised bed up out of bricks, like I have extra antique bricks. 
So I think I'm gonna do that instead and see how it goes for a year. So that way I could just do one foot wide, like one row, instead of having the two rows. I don't know. I, I just hate to lose part of that walkway. So I'll figure that out um, as well. But I do wanna show you, um, this video will go live on Carnival, Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna be cooking like a big roast family dinner. So I did my tablescape already. And I just wanna share that with you um, before I close out this vlog. So let me show you my Fat Tuesday tablescape. This is the only place I decorated was here in the dining room. So I will show you in detail, like more up close, but just an overview here of what I did. Super colorful. I still have that bag over there. It's like craft project started and like sorted out. I've got to get that out of there. Um, I will before dinner. But yeah, you've probably seen that when I was doing the Valentine's and I just didn't get around to moving it. So let me show you. Uh, we'll start with the chicken here, I guess. I put a mask on the chicken. Of course, it didn't fit. I had to wire it on. And then inside, I left the grapevine greenery just for height. I put in a lot of these shiny picks and curly cute picks. And of course, Mardi Gras beads hanging down. And just some very colorful bulbs and it does still I took the heart lights out but I did still leave the fairy lights in so I'll set that for the timer again because I just messed up the timer now and that'll light up in the evenings stay on for six hours it's fairy lights with a timer on it so I think that the chicken came out cute gotta change the arrangement all the time in the chicken just to make it blend in over on the mantel top here then, um, that's the candles that are always here. And this is a um, Venetian mask from Italy, made in Italy, the carnival mask. And I threw some beads around in here as well. This is just uh, strips of netting. You can see there's like three colors and some more of the glitzy shiny picks thrown in there just to jazz that up a little bit. So let me back up and show you the mantle top there. All right, and then for my table, the actual table, this is, um, I believe I used this last year as well, I think I showed, but my mom made this and um, sewed the like coins on the edge. It was just a Mardi Gras fabric that she made a runner for me out of. Um, in the centerpiece here, this little Venetian like carnival looking boy is holding up a bowl that I filled. There's some netting down in the bottom of there and then I've got some feathers sticking out and some more of the glitzy picks, some bulbs. There were ornaments and of course beads again and beads laying around. These ornamental balls are usually what's in that. That's usually up in the hallway upstairs. The bowl there with these ornamental balls in it so i just brought it down here to use for this and sat the balls there i've got my mercury glass candles that um sticks that were a christmas gift from my friend again um with the they're like mercury glass at the bottom and then turn clear as they go and i put some purple candles in there with that for the actual tablescape itself, like the dishes, I just pulled out four of my brightest colors of my everyday fiesta wear. Um, my everyday dishes are fiesta wear and each is a different color and so is the silverware. So I just pulled out some bright everyday silverware and I used a McKinsey Child's napkin to get the check effect and tied them shut with extra strips of tool netting and sat it on a gold charger for extra color. So I chose out yellow, teal with a green tie, all the silverware is different colors as well. I did a purple and lime green. 
So I like how it came out. Um, let me know down in the comments if you do Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday celebration, have a big meal, and um, if you decorate or do a tablescape at least or anything. I didn't decorate anywhere else. This is it. I just did the tablescape just for a fun meal before we head into Lent. So that is what I did. All right, well, thank you for watching and make sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get notifications. And I will see you next week.